So here we have the Hyundai i40 Tora SE Nav Automatic on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot, you'll notice we've got reversing sensors. This car's also got reversing camera, which I'll show you when we're inside the car. Loads of boot space, as you can see, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seats as well. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now, and then I'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just before we pop in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are in great condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start off with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, the cool and temperature gauge, and also P uh, for park, so it'll show you what gear the car is currently in over that side. And then on the right-hand side, we have the speedometer and the fuel gauge. In the middle, on the trip computer, you can see the total miles for this car are 12,950. You can change the information displayed above that, by using buttons on the steering wheel and there's various different menus that you can access as well. Uh, backing out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are these ones down the bottom just here. Above that we've got cruise control and speed limiter and then over on the left hand side we have stereo controls at the top and at the bottom we have the ability to answer and end phone calls as well as having voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you've paired the phone. And that is done over on the central screen just here. Uh, so you would hit phone and then follow the instructions on screen from there. This car also has satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works on our uh, website and on our Facebook page. It's well worth checking those out. Uh, when it comes to the radio on this car, you can see that we've got DAB, FM and AM radio. And then in terms of other ways to listen to music, we've got a USB connection auxiliary connection you can stream music wirelessly via bluetooth audio as well so once you pair the phone not only can you make and receive phone calls but you can listen to your music uh, i did mention uh, when we were at the back of the car that we had a reversing camera you can see it just there so it's a full color camera with guidelines showing you where the car would be headed in relation to the image that you see below that we've got the climate control so it's dual zone climate control where you can adjust the temperature on the passenger side up and down here and the driver side here and the temperatures are displayed on the top of the main screen as is the fan speed which is adjustable just here. Once you're happy with the temperature and fan speed that button will turn the air conditioning off as it is now or on again or you can hit auto and the car will take control of the fans to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. You can simply override that by readjusting the fan speed accordingly. We then have a heated rear screen over this side. This button will divert the car's air conditioning to the front screen. Below that, we have a driver heated seat, passenger heated seat. We can turn off the traction control from here. Driver mode will change the gearbox uh, setup from sport to normal or eco, so eco for the winter, for example. And then inside here, we've got the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned, as well as a 12 volt charging socket underneath that cap, and this will close over as well. We then have the fully automatic gearbox. And then finally, electronic handbrake with auto hold function this button will turn on or off the parking sensor should you wish to use that button all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive please feel free to call any of our mja sites we'd love to hear from you soon